Yes, yes. I, I thought it was somebody else for the moment. Uh, did you make these payments on the loan we made on your furniture? Yeah. <coughs> and, uh, well, not exactly. You see, uh, Oh, I, yes, I see. Huh? Well, Mr. Earl, I'll be back this afternoon with a truck. Huh? Yes, and when I leave, I'll either have the payments in my pocket or the furniture in the truck. Is that clear? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, it just makes sense. Huh? What are you doing, racing with blinkers? Say, Biscuit. <laughs> Maybe he's got stigmatism or something and can't see where he's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say, Bill, am I glad to see you. Well, there must be something wrong with his eyes, too. That's you know who this is, don't you? It's your brother-in-law and his wife. Yes, 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 I know, I know. Here, take these grips. Go in the house, you'll find Vivian in there. You come with me. Hey, hey, Mark. Yes, Miss Smith, yes. Pardon me, just a minute, Mr. Morrison. I, I'd like you to know my, my brother-in-law, Phil. Ah, yes, the biscuit bit. <clears throat> now, I owe Mr. Morrison some money. I'll explain that to you later. So give him $150. $150? That's right. You mean to say you haven't got $150? What do you think, Major and me are paying you a social visit? Oh, I see. You couldn't pay your rent again, huh? I'll see you this afternoon, Errol. Without fail. He means he'll be back. Got some bad news for you, too. Come here. Wait. I'm going to let you in on a secret. Secret? Yeah, you're going to sleep on the floor tonight. Why? When this guy comes back, he's going to take away the furniture. Why? Uh, well, I didn't have enough money to buy Vivian an anniversary present, so I borrowed some money on the furniture. We bought it at Diamond Restaurant. And don't you ask me why, either. I couldn't do this, but I'm going to help you out. I'll be out this evening without any help. Tut, tut, listen. Huh? You bought the furniture to pay for the watch, didn't you? Uh-huh. Stop so bought the watch to pay for the furniture. You mean that the... the <laughs> Come on. We'll leave the dishes till we get back. I... Oh, hello, Phil. Maisie's going shopping with me. Make Leon entertain me till we get back. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yes. Oh, uh, <clears throat> sweetheart, I was... Gracious me, where's your watch? Oh, I'm glad you reminded me. Oh. I took it off to wash the dishes. Well, listen, but, uh, if, if you're going out shopping, you better leave that at home, don't you think? Why? Why? Well, because it's damp outside, and it's... <laughs> Allowed to get rusty. Say, I thought it was guaranteed. Well, it is guaranteed. Then I don't think the weather will affect it any. It's a very hot day. I know that, but listen, sweetheart, that's what I'm trying to explain, you see. It's so hot, you're liable to stop the circulation. You swinging your arms like that and walking. Leon, don't be silly. Oh, dear. There goes Junior. Come on, you'll have to make faces at him to put him to sleep again. Uh, you see? <laughs> Is that so? Well, he laughed at me the first time you saw me. <laughs> I was hysterical for a week. <laughs> the little rascal sure crazy about you. Yes. I can't understand what's wrong with him. Hey, honey, where's Kitty? What's the matter? What's the matter? I believe he wants to play with my watch. With a watch? Say, hey, don't, don't, don't give him that watch, honey. Why not? All kids like to play with watches. What's the matter with your eyes? Going like that? Oh, oh yes, 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 come here, that's right, yes. Give him the watch. Hey, watch, now go on, George, run along, will you? Run along and do your shopping. Run right along and do your shopping, will you? And take your time, take your time. Well, be careful, nothing happens to my watch. Uh, by the time you get back home, there won't be anything left to worry about. Hurry up now and get out of here. And we'd better hurry before they get back, too. Well, now what? I don't know why I should supply all the ideas, uh -huh. but it's a since you haven't any. All you have to do is give him your watch and take the other one. Simple, wasn't it? Sure, sure.
you got any other ideas? Can you sing? Oh, I don't know. I sang once in the choir when I was a boy. Why? Well, it looks like we'll have to sing Junior to sleep. Yeah, that's what it will do. Well, what are we going to sing? Rock-a-bye, baby. What do you think we're going to sing? All right, rock-a-bye, baby. Rock-a-bye, baby, on the treetop. Get all you can here because that cost me a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? Yes, a thousand bucks. Take a look at it. Come on. Sit. Out the back way. Go on, come on. Go on, go on. Hello, dear. Hello. What are you waving at? What? You see, there, there you are. You've awakened Judy. What watch? My watch. The watch the baby was playing with. Where is it? Oh, uh, maybe he's borrowed it. Borrowed it? Hmm. Oh, Leon, you really don't think that... Oh, I mean, i better call the doctor right away. Wait a minute, I was just uh, uh, supposing that... Yes, but I'm not. I... You see, there's no watch there. I'm so glad. Thank you, doctor. Oh, not at all. I'll send the bill to... Uh, <coughs> but I can't understand what could have happened to the watch. Well, I know how to find out. Well, I hopped it. I did. <coughs> you what? He did the uh, locked it. Uh, you see, uh, my car door was open, and I sent Phil out to lock it. Uh, <coughs> mm -hmm. You almost gave the whole darn thing away. Yeah, and the watch, too. What do you mean, the watch? I thought you said you paid a grand for that ticket. Well, I certainly did. Well, 125 was all I could get on. But 125 isn't enough. I owe more than 150. Well, I took care of that, too. You <laughs> did? By the greatest piece of luck, I ran into a jockey friend of mine. And he gave me a tip in the big race this afternoon. You don't mean to say... <clears throat> you don't mean to say you bet it on the race. I put the whole chunk right on his nose, in your name. The bookmaker's gonna be here right after the race to pay off. If he wins. He can't miss. <sighs> I got this right from the feed box. Well, if it isn't helping my appetite, I mean, I'll tell you that. <coughs> I just phoned Zinko, and he's coming over with his crystal ball and tell Vivian where the watch is. Zinko? He's a fortune teller, Maisie knows. You mean that chiseling turbinite who told you I was out with your cousin? Yes, and he hit the nail on the head, too. You mean you hit me on the head? I'll break his skull with that glass doorknob of his if I ever see him. That's what you think. Don't pay any attention to Phil. Zinko knows everything. Uh, Phil, uh, can this... Tell us, Zinko, actually tell you what happened? No. Oh, no. I think he makes lucky guesses. Yeah. Oh, I see. Then he was right about you and Major Cousin, huh? Well, in a fact... Yeah, I see what you mean exactly. Well, we don't want him around this house. Now, let's think of something. I'll run down to Zinko's and tell him we don't want him. Don't be upset. What about the wives? I'll show up at Zinko with the turban and the beard. They'll never know the difference. No, 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 no. I, I remember that impersonation act. You did one too, from Melton. I used to stop the... With that act. I know, I know. And Vaudeville hasn't been the same ever since. 
stop. Well, then give me five dollars for gas. All right, the five for gas. There. I'll charge the costume to you. All right. Five for gas. Hey, where are you going for that costume, Arabia? Do you want me to wait for you? No, sweet. You run along. I'll take a cab. Oh, wait a minute. You know I like you lots better with a beard. Huh? Well, I see what you mean. I'm getting a bit careless. Ah, my charming lady. Mm, say parfait. It is indeed a pleasure to see you again. And you are Mrs. Oh. Arrow. For goodness sake. How did you know? Zinko sees all and knows all. Mr. Arrow, this is a pleasure. Uh, you better do something. I thought you'd never get here, kid. Well, I had some personal things to take care of. Mm. You know how this is. Mm, it must feel bad at all. I've never known you in a thousand years. Really? Come right in here, Professor Zinko. Okay, 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 all right. Will this be all right? This is very satisfactory. Now I understand. You want to find out about the diamond rift. That's correct. That's right. At first we thought the baby had swallowed it and... Ah, uh, I see a watch. Isn't that wonderful? You mean, Sammy, you can look in there with that quiet looking. Yes, I'm sure I like that. It looks as though the baby was playing with the watch. That's right. He was. Leon, I had a flat tire and I... Quack, quack. You? Ah, now I see it. What the hell are you, Zinko? The watch. There it is. What are we going to do? I'll fix it. Here is what happened. The baby was playing with the watch. Yes? Then... Well... Hmm? Oh! Oh! Thank you. Oh, 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 what happened? Oh, he, he fainted. He should have. I hit him hard enough. Yeah. Huh? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Girl, pull the tape out. Would you give well, me a hand? I didn't want to the bedroom. Oh, oh, oh. Move that back here. Oh. Leon, 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 Leon. What? Well, look at that. I knew he was a fool. Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 Why don't you do it? You're with a second person. I'm too tall. Leon, open the door. Can't you hear the baby screaming? Listen, Bill, get the baby in and give her the visit. Now, listen. Leon said you'll understand. Oh, I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, you and Professor Zinko go right ahead. Leon and I will be with you in a minute. Are you sure you're all right, Professor Zingo? No, certainly, certainly. I was just overcome by a shock or something I see in the crystal. Mm -hmm. Shall we continue? I mean, uh, going ahead now? How do you do? Is Mr. Earl in? Right here. I mean, uh, certainly, certainly. Uh, you excuse you? <coughs> Mr. Hell was here a moment ago. What was it you wanted? Well, I'm Max, the bookmaker. Ah. Uh, I uh, you have a big transaction with Mr. Hurl, huh? Isn't it wonderful? He can tell you everything. I wish he'd have told me what was going to happen when I took Earl's bet on Tabasco in the handicap. I sure would have laid it off. <laughs> Mr. Errol bet on a horse? Yeah, and clipped me for 372 bucks. <laughs> <coughs> Something seemed to tell me I should take the money for him, huh? I'm Mrs. Errol. I'll take care of it. Well, well you think it is better, huh? Well, call me if Mr. Errol wants to make any more bets. I don't think Mr. Errol will be making any more bets, Mr. Max. Well, 
Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. And now, shall we continue? Carry on. Where's your dog before you interrupt? Remember, the baby was playing with the wasp? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. <coughs> Let me concentrate, concentrate. Ah, yes, the baby is doing the wash. I mean, the baby is playing with the wash. Ah, look. He's playing with the wash near the window. A hand come through the window and take it. It was stolen? Cop. I'll phone the police. No, 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 no. Don't phone the police. I think maybe I can get him for you uh, if you don't tell somebody. You can. Uh, may cost you a little money. <coughs> I, uh, maybe I'm too soon. Oh, excuse me, Professor. <gasps> Where is the watch, Vinko? In the hawk shot. Uh, in the pawn shop. <laughs> Look, see? Professor Vinko here? Why, yes. He's, he's in the living room. Oh. Aha. Are you Zinko? Centauri. Uh oh. Looks like there's going to be trouble. Uh -huh. Well, yes, I am. Oh, so you're the misguided prophet that told my wife I was running around with some other gal, eh? Now, just a moment, please. Well, that's the last home you'll ever break up. <laughs> Why, you turban, <laughs> I'll get you. Berlin? Yeah, he's all in. Come back some other time. Oh, is that so? Well, there's no time like the present. Come on, boys, clear the stuff out of here. Oh, say, now, wait a minute. You can't do that to me. Why, Jim, no. the detective's going to drive here. Oh, there you are! Oh. Let me by here. Get out of my way. Oh, 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 The next one, the next one, the next one. All right, boys. That's all. Let's go. Do you need money? The Confidential Loan Company will let you have what you need on your car, jewelry, or furniture. Give us a trial. You will be carried away by our service. 